This is section 38 of Mark Twain's Speeches by Mark Twain. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Courage by Mark Twain. Read by John Greenman. At a beefsteak dinner given by artists, caricaturists, and humorists of New York City, April 18, 1908, Mr. Clemens, Mr. H. H. Rogers, and Mr. Patrick McCarran were the guests of honor. Each wore a white apron, and each made a short speech. In the matter of courage we all have our limits. There never was a hero who did not have his bounds. I suppose it may be said of Nelson and all the others whose courage has been advertised that there came times in their lives when their bravery knew it had come to its limit. I have found mine a good many times. Sometimes this was expected. Often it was unexpected. I know a man who is not afraid to sleep with a rattlesnake. But you could not get him to sleep with a safety razor. I never had the courage to talk across a long, narrow room. I should be at the end of the room facing all the audience. If I attempt to talk across a room, I find myself turning this way and that, and thus, at alternate periods, I have part of the audience behind me. You ought never to have any part of the audience behind you. You never can tell what they are going to do. I'll sit down. End of Courage by Mark Twain Read by John Greenman